Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Palmetto Cats Live on a new night. I know most of you are used to seeing me on Sunday nights. Well, last Sunday was my uh, last official time slot on Sunday night. So welcome again to Palmetto Cats Live. Uh, make sure you have those bell notifications on so you'll see when I go live all the time. But I'm pretty good about advertising when I'm going to go live. So uh, welcome if you're just coming in. I know that commercial gets you at the beginning. I just want to say welcome to everybody. I'm so happy that you're joining me right now. We're not going to stall. We're going to go right into it because uh, I have a special guest that's going to come in and talk to you, and then I'm going to do a live real review for PC Fun Chaos, the Chaos series, uh, Baitcasters. So thank you, everybody, coming in, uh, everybody in chat. I'm going to hold off on the shout out so that we can get right into it. Uh, before we get started, though, please hit that thumbs up if you don't mind. Uh, and also, if you stick around to the end, I'll have a special uh, promo code for PC Fun Reels that you can use for 18% off your order on the PC Fun website. But anyway, let's get cranking. I want to welcome my guest in, Mr. Jason Brennick. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great, Kevin. How are you? Good. Jason is the marketing director for PC Fun US, and uh, he's coming in tonight to talk about the company, a little bit about himself, uh, a little bit about maybe a product, and then he's going to uh, just uh, answer some questions if we have it. So, uh, Jason, tell us about uh, yourself a little bit. Sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having me on the show. I definitely appreciate that, and I'm looking forward to doing it. Um, <clears throat> a little bit about myself. Uh, as Kevin said, I'm the U.S. Marketing Director for PC Fun Fishing. Um, that means I get to have a whole lot of fun working in the fishing industry. And uh, I test a lot of products. I, you know, I market a lot of products, create a lot of YouTube videos. Um, PC Fun actually has their own YouTube channel as mm -hmm. well. Um, yeah, so I get to do a whole lot of fun stuff. And I love hearing feedback from you guys because then we can go back and we can make our products that much better. Uh, with feedback directly from the anglers. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, yeah, man. Thank you uh, so much. And uh, a lot of us are starting to use these products. So I thought it was about time we met one of the faces behind the company. So tell me, how'd you get started there and kind of what's your what's your role at PC Fun? Yeah. So uh, my role is kind of ever morphing because we're such a new company. Um, I got started with them full time about two years ago, uh, but I've been with the company for about five years total now. Um, it's kind of a funny story the way it all kind of started. Um, PC Fund was was very brand new five years ago. We had two products in our lineup. You know, it was it was a brand new starter company, and I was a tournament bass fisherman at the time, and okay. I was very active on Facebook and Instagram. We won't and, hold that against you. Yeah, yeah. Please don't <laughs> judge me for being a bass fisherman. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. <laughs> no, I, believe me, I get them all the time. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I kind of started with them. They found me via uh, social media and they were starting new and they said, hey, we really need someone to kind of help us out and get things going. And what do you think about kind of doing a little bit of work for us on the side of what you normally do? And that's kind of how it started. And and we went from there. And now we have we have doubled our size of the company pretty much year over year since then. Hmm. Um, we've we've come out. I think we're up over 65 SKUs now in our lineup. Uh, and we're doing more and more and more every year. Um, in terms of what I do and how it's evolved over time, um, I am the marketing director. But what a lot of people don't know is I actually design a lot of our rods and our reels. Oh, okay. Um, I do awesome. a lot of product design as well. So that's why I said it's kind of a jack of all trades when you work for a small company. That that one title doesn't quite stick. You kind of got to do a little <laughs> bit of everything. So, so I'm definitely a busy guy, uh, but I would not have any any other way. So I do product design, marketing, video work social media management. So just about everything social media for PC fun is coming from my fingertips. Goodness um, so gracious. Don't, don't yell at me for bad things that are posted. <laughs> um, so you're, yeah, you are the, you are the man in the U S yeah, I'm okay. kind of the dude. <laughs> so, you're the dude. You're the dude. Yeah. So tell me about the company. I like uh, the motto fish with family. Tell me a little yeah. bit about that and uh, how the company, well, I'll just let you take it away. Fish with family. Tell me what that's all about. Yeah. So, uh, so when we, when we started, when PC fun kind of first got started, the, there was, there was a couple friends who both were very into fishing and they came together. And basically the thought process was that fishing was becoming very expensive. 
And um, you can see it in the industry throughout, you know, like fishing boats, rods and reels, um, you know, everything just became really expensive over the last, you know, 15 years or so. And so these gentlemen came together and they said, you know what, based on e-commerce now and how you can sell directly online, I think we can come up with a, a program or a company where we can sell to people and it's going to be affordable and high quality. And the problem has always been if it's if it's affordable, it's not high quality, you know. Right, right. So, you know, we, we talked about that and then we talked about what's the most important thing in fishing. And for us, it was the the generational continuance of the sport. And how do you do that? One of the best ways of doing it is to involve your family, right? Exactly. And so take take your son or daughter fishing, take a cousin fishing, take a grandpa fishing. I mean, just getting anyone uh, outside and, and into the sport. So that's kind of where Fish with Family came about. Um, and the other, the flip side of that was also uh, that we wanted to have the best customer service in the industry. So if you do end up running into a problem with one of our products, uh, we wanted you to know that you were fishing with family and you're part of the PC Fund family and that we'll take care of you, you know, once you're part of that family. And so that was another another big thing to that kind of yin yang of the fish with family. You kind of brought up a good point too. Like uh, a lot of these uh a lot of these Amazon places, which which is where most of us are shopping, let's just be real. We're shopping yep. on Amazon. Yep. Um, uh, most of these reels, these inexpensive reels, you feel like you buy it, and that's the end of the relationship. So you're saying that that's not the case yeah you know with our company uh you know we're not we're not an amazon company a lot of the companies you buy from they're amazon companies that's what they do 100 percent of the time um and that is really just one of our sales platforms we have so many e-commerce platforms that we sell on um and yes with us it's not just someone sitting behind a computer who's creating sales tactics online but you have people like me um you know i've i've had i can't tell you how many conversations as the u.s marketing director with a customer who's unhappy um, because I personally feel the need to step in and, and interdict it if need be when someone is not pleased with a product. So there's definitely that family feel. And even as we grow, we're going to maintain that. I refuse to, to, you know, let go of that handle with everything. So, and so like a lot of fishing gear, uh, these reels and most of your products are manufactured overseas in China. Uh, but PC fun is an American company, correct? Correct. So we're headquartered out of Wisconsin. Um, and so one of the big things that I want to point out is, uh, first of all, the manufacturing. So like you said, a lot of people don't realize it or may not know it, but a very large majority of products for fishing are made in China. That's why this year with COVID-19, you noticed a lot of uh, your box stores, they were very scarce on the shelves this year. Well, right. That was due sure to a manufacturing were. shutdown in the largest place for manufacturing fishing gear. Um, right. And yeah, and the big thing for us is, we're able to to negotiate and control quality, which in, in the history of manufacturing hasn't been a very good thing in China, which is why we kind of think, oh, if it's made in China, it must be really cheap. Well, things have changed quite drastically since then, and our quality control is through the roof. And uh, again, that's why we're able to bring high quality products at an affordable price to everyone. Yeah. So um, tell me a little bit more about, you know, the, the products that you do offer. Sure. So uh, initially, when we first started, we kind of just started with fishing reels. That's and that's still our bread and butter. That's really our, our main focus. Um, but that being said, the ultimate goal of PC Fund is to kind of become a one stop shop. So if you're a fan of the brand and or a fan of the products we've used, we want you to come in and you know I really like the reel. Well, I want a rod also, and maybe I want to get some line, and maybe I need a new tackle backpack. And so we now at this point we kind of offer a little bit of everything. Um, so we have spinning reels and casting reels. We have uh, rods, you know, both casting and spinning. We're actually in the development of a catfishing rod right now. Ooh, so I'm sure you'll be able to- Did everybody hear in. that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll maybe be able to weigh in on that a little bit um, and give us your thoughts on it. Um, and then, like I said, tackle bags, pliers, uh, fly fishing gear, um, kind of the whole gamut. And that's that's where we're going to continue to go is just progress and, and make more and more and more fishing gear. So- uh, thanks, Big Mike, for that uh, super chat. My my board, so this board behind me, I usually put super chat donations up here, okay. but it's too high. I don't know why I put it up too high. So uh, I'm not going to write it down, but thank you, Fishing with Big Mike. And uh, Aubrey Collins said, dude, generational continuance. I think he liked that phrase. <laughs> yeah, it's a big thing. <laughs> you know, I guess let me point out why that's a big thing right now. 
obviously we all joke about it, but we say, oh, kids, all they do is spend all their time sitting on a phone or looking at an iPad or, you know, and the reality is that is truly what happens. There's a reason we joke about it. There are a lot of kids that's all they do. Um, and if we as fishermen, as anglers and outdoorsmen and women, if we don't grab those kids and say, hey, let's go do something different. Let me show you how to catch a catfish. Let me show you how to bait a hook. If we don't do those things, there's no continuance and this sport ultimately dies. Um, and so that's that's the big thing. Generational continuance. Pull those kids in, get them out there and show them how fun it is to not be on an iPad. Mm -hmm. Nick S uh, says, got to say. I own 10 PC fun products. They all work excellently. I can't wait for the catfish rod. Yeah, I think I think you just sparked a lot of people right there. You just you just uh, put a lot of interest in. So we're gonna go ahead and ask you a question. Where are you at in the production or 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 the idea for a catfish rod? So we are we are very early on uh, right now. We just started trying to figure out what designs we're going to do. The, you know, the tough thing when you're ever designing a product is that there's already a hundred million of them on the market, right? Right. So right, right. you know, every brand has multiple different things, and so the big thing is trying to figure out a way to one set ourselves apart, and two, we want to listen to the anglers that do this every single day. You know, I'm a bass fishing guy. I'm a walleye fishing guy. I'm not a cat fishing guy, admittedly. So if I'm the guy sitting down designing the rod and I'm not pulling input from like someone like you, Kevin, who does this all the time, then it, it's not going to be a good process and we're not going to get to the best product. So right now we're at the stage where we're going to start gathering all that information from those who are subject matter experts and then move forward in the design process. So Smart. we'll probably be chatting Smart. here soon, Kevin. <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm honored just to be in the conversation, man. Jason <laughs> Ward asked, uh, or no, wrong, well, that is Jason Ward, but that was the wrong comment. Uh, will there be a line counter reel in the future? You know what? So I probably get this question about 25 times a week and I'm not even really, kidding. <laughs> I get messages from between cat fishermen, between, uh, you know, salmon guys, walleye guys, we're working <laughs> on it right now. Uh, again, it's one of those things that one of the things I've always urged our product designers and engineers not to do is do not rush to the market because there's a demand. You know, you and, and, and on our end, it's, it hurts us because we don't get those sales. We don't, cause there's a lot, I mean, everybody wants it right now, but we're not going to take advantage of that. We want to take our time. We want to get it right. And then we right. bring it out. So we are definitely working on that. We're smack dab in the middle. We've already had a couple of prototypes, so it is in the works. Thank you, Nick, for that $5 super chat donation. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, Catfish Headhunter said, uh, one suggestion, add a nice holographic catfish sticker on the rod. Uh, not many have them. Okay. Interesting. That's definitely something yeah. we can consider for well, there sure. There you go. <laughs> Live real-time feedback. <laughs> there you go. Um, let's see. Can't wait. So versatile. Walleye, striper, catfish, et cetera. Yep. That's why everybody wants them because it's just it's a, it's a real style that a lot of different anglers appeal to for sure. Um, and then Nick said, uh, I second the two piece. So some of them are, uh, I'm not a fan of a two piece rod, but we've had a couple, uh, people in here say they want a two piece catfish rod so they can put it in the truck yeah. and, uh, fish when they want. <laughs> yeah. Just about every rod series that we come out with, we do produce a one piece and a two piece for that exact reason. Um, and interestingly enough, at this point, I'm not a fan of two piece rods personally either. I feel like right. you lose some sensitivity and connectivity when you're doing that. But interestingly enough, nowadays, the ferrules that are used to connect those rods, to be honest with you, if I took a piece of super glue and put them together and handed it to somebody, most people wouldn't even know. You know, That's so good it's, to know. it's pretty incredible. Yeah, yep, it's pretty incredible. I don't like them, but I test them, obviously, because we make them and, and I've been really impressed with them. So uh, Big Mike asks, which reel is most comparable to the Abu 7000? Well, a 7,000 is a pretty good size reel. I would I would say that our Chaos XS60 would be the closest to yeah. comparing with something in that size range. And, and Mike, the second the second part of this stream, I'm going to be reviewing um, that reel, so I can uh, I can show you those reels up close. Uh, Daniel says, Jason, I appreciate you being here to listen to you uh, to listen to you in the interact. I love PC Fun products. I have currently, but uh, I have a question and concern when the time comes. Okay. Well, go ahead and uh, the, give the us time your is now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. How have I never heard about these guys? We'll definitely be doing business with them. Thank you for introducing me, Kevin. Oh, that's all right. And awesome. I was telling Jason before the, the stream that uh, Dieter Melhorn had actually been using a 
I think it was a 50 in one of his videos. And so I was just converting to bait casters and I said, well, there's, there's one that's inexpensive, uh, um, which you kind of mentioned that, uh, you know, there, that's people are, what do you say? Confused of how you can get such an inexpensive price and a quality reel. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, that's a, that's a big thing. So there's, there's a couple of ways that we do that. Um, <clears throat> basically it's like, it's kind of economics, right? Simple economics. Um, basically when a product is made, it goes from the factory to a middleman distributor to a box store and then to you as the customer. Well, PC Fun, we, you're not going to see us in Cabela's. We're not in Bass Pro. We're not in Academy Outdoors. You're not going to see us on the shelves there. Um, and while I understand that some people want to put their hands on them, if we do that, then we have to do the same thing that other companies have done. And we have to create that middleman price jump. And I'll, I'll tell you guys, it's a big price jump. Mm -hmm. um, and so what we do is we go factory basically direct to consumer you know there's there's amazon fees and there's online fees but it's not nearly what it is when it comes to those box stores and so we cut out that middleman and instead of us trying to take that profit and, and making higher prices we just pass it directly to you guys as the customers and that's the biggest feedback i get from pc fund is i don't know how you guys are able to make a reel that's this good for that price and and that's where it comes in it's just the economic part of how everything flows and we cut out that middleman Cool. Um, let's see. Um, do they offer a bumping reel? So uh, a low profile reel that um, is kind of like big enough for catfishing. Yep. So I, uh, as soon as I saw a bumping reel, it took me back immediately because one of the YouTubers we work with uh, taught me all about what bumping <laughs> was because I was lost as a bass fisherman. So, uh, <laughs> so I can actually answer this educated. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so yeah, so we do offer a reel that would be perfect for bumping. Um, it's called the Alios, A-L-I-J-O-Z. And it is a 300 <clears throat> size, uh, low profile, beefier casting reel. Um, it's got a 30 pound drag system, which obviously is wow. gonna be perfect for those big cats. Mm -hmm. Um, and we do have guys using them, you know, for blue cats and, and even, you know, yanking flatheads out of log jams and all sorts of stuff. Um, and that one comes with a to... power, power handle as well. I'm going to have to try that one. Yeah. It's, yeah, um, I think you would really like that reel. It's very, very well made. So, uh, do you see any different color variations coming down? Like once you, once you've honed in on what you think, uh, people want. Yeah, you know, it, it kind of comes down to the demand that if we see enough demand for, you know, a black and green or a black and red or something like that, you know, we'll we'll try to shift in, in any direction that the customer, you know, wants us to go. But it just depends, you know, on how much demand is out there. We can't we can't make a whole lineup of reels for 10 people who like red, you know, it kind of <laughs> makes production a little tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I see a couple of people are asking about like specific questions like um they have a problem with a drag or something like that. How can they, how can we contact PC fun if there's an issue with this, our particular reel? Sure. Yeah. So, so one thing to keep in mind is, you know, whether you're buying a $500 reel or a $50 reel, um, there's always going to be manufacturing flaws. It's just one of those mm -hmm. things. And uh, we take customer service very seriously. Personally, I take it very seriously. I believe it's the heart of a company. Um, and so if you do run into or encounter one of those issues, you can go to CS, so cat Sam at pcfund.com. And our customer service team is available to talk to you. Um, we do have a customer service rep stateside right in Tennessee. So uh, I know obviously sometimes you get a lot of overseas reps. We do have those as well. But if you need to talk to someone, uh, Tina is our customer service rep here in Tennessee, and she'll be happy to help you. No, Did not, not like cat Sam. Sorry, I was doing phonetics. CS. Okay. Say, say that say it one more time c s at pc uh -huh. com. okay so i was just trying to give some frame of reference for the letters <laughs> i was like man your your email the email even has a uh, even has cat in it <laughs> <laughs> there you go now you got it <laughs> uh so you uh, so dieter melhorn said the chaos 50 is surprisingly good reel for the price i'm impressed with the two i am trying out so there you go thanks dieter appreciate um, that yeah so yeah, black and green bait caster. Oh, yeah, I'd be all over that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that would probably, if we did come up with another color, that would probably be the direction we would go because that's certainly a, a popular. Good, good direction. Good yeah. direction. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Bump and reel. Yep, we did that. When is the 60 coming back out? I checked and they were sold out. I think I think they're available now on Amazon. 
Yeah. So one thing to point out is we do, we have a lot of different sales platforms. So just, just, I mean, Google PC fund chaos XS, and you'll get different links for different platforms. Um, AliExpress is another platform. Sometimes they have minimums for orders. You might have to order two, um, but because it's a wholesale site, you can get them a little bit cheaper. So if you're willing to wait, you know, a couple weeks for shipping. So um, just check the different sales platforms. Typically, if we are out, usually we have them back within three, three to four weeks. So just a rough time estimate. Gotcha. Um, you had a carnivore that you wanted to show off. It's a so those of you I know not everybody is a casting person, but uh, Jason had a spinning reel that he wanted to show that he thinks would be great for cat fishermen and uh, and you have it right there with you, right? I do. Yeah, Can I do. show that off. So <clears throat> this I'll kind of give you a good look at the camera here, but this is a PC Fun Carnivore X. Um, so this reel comes from 3000 size all the way up to 6000. So it'll, it'll handle any size catfish that you want to wrangle with. Um, this is a bait feeder style reel. So meaning you have a rear drag system here and you can adjust the tension. So that way, if you're using live bait and that, you know, your fish is running on you and you got your lever here in the back. So, uh, this, this very stark contrast color reel, as you can see, it's, it's a beautiful reel. Um, so if you are more of a spinning guy and you like catfishing or sturgeon fishing or anything like that, this is definitely a reel that you'll want to want to take a look at. And you can see it's got the big power knob, which obviously when you're when you're cranking down on a huge fish, that leverage, sorry, wrong way, that leverage is is huge um, to pull those big fish in. So definitely a reel to check out if you're into spinning reels. Aubrey said, okay, going to go look at the carnivore BRB. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't go too soon because I'm going to give you that uh, that code to get 18% off. <laughs> uh, let's see. Looks like it'd be good for your new flathead rod. There you go. Go check it out. Yeah, they can awesome. certainly handle it. We have a gentleman on our pro staff who is on the Mississippi River here in Wisconsin, and he catches flatheads routinely that are around that 30 to 45-pound mark and. So he gives them a good workout for us. He's one of our prototype testers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, Michael Marillo, uh, one of my friends uh, and a supporter of the channel, he just got one and he's been raving about it. Yeah. It's a, uh, it, it really is a great spinning reel. And uh, one of our, he, he helped another YouTuber do a, uh, uh, kind of a unboxing review on it. So awesome. Uh, I, I'm not too, I'm not into uh, spinning reels as much anymore, but I do appreciate them because I used them for 30 years. So Right. Um, let's see. My dad just got a seven foot six medium heavy spinner rod. Which of that model would be best for catfish? I would say go, I'll let you answer that, Jason. Yeah, I think it really kind of depends on the size of the catfish that you're targeting because we can go from little bitty channel cats to big old blue cats, you know, so there's a big, big difference there. Um, if you're looking for a good middle of the road, I would say the 4,000 would probably be a good starting point unless you know that you're truly chasing, you know, giants specifically, then you could step it up. But that 4,000. Sorry. No, go ahead. 4, what was the size that you just had? So this one here that I'm holding is a 5,000. So I, I would say I would say the five thousand is usually comparable to what most people use for catfish. Um, so that's bigger than that Viper X, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yep, yeah, absolutely. So I t I tested out the Viper X five, and it seemed like it was small for a five, but that yeah. looks that looks like it should be. Yeah, this one's a true five thousand. <clears throat> I'm loyal to my abus, but I may just be ordering one of these next. There you go. <laughs> That's what we like to hear, Katie. <laughs> uh, what does the number mean? Oh, like 4,000, 5,000, mm -hmm. that aspect. It's just a coding series. It doesn't have any relevance in terms of like, you know, a size of a spool or anything like that. It's just a, a, a sequence of numbers to get sizes, just like large, medium, extra large, mm -hmm. that type of thing. Yeah. And, and they do vary a little bit, but most of them are comparable to each other. Yeah. Um, thanks for the input. Let's see. What is 30 pound line cat capacity on the, what is the 30 pound line capacity on the five? Uh, let's see. I can't give you 30 offhand cause I don't have it, but I'm uh, for the, for the reel on the side here, what we do have is 40 pound braid at 350 yards. Okay. So you're not going to be too far off with a 30. I mean, you'll mm -hmm. get just a, just a bit more than that. Let's see. Um, PC fund for spot. Thanks. PC fund for sponsoring Caleb Koof hall. Yep. Is that how you spell it? Yep. Cool follow, yep. On the Bassmaster Elite Series, Peace Fund makes reels for everyone. There you go. Yep, that's right. 
Uh, how much line does the 6K hold? Is that the one? Or uh, No, that's not the 6,000. Yeah, I don't have this. Honestly, guys, for, for those of you who are asking for capacities, I would recommend going out to the PC Fund website. And our specs are laid out very clearly there for everything, for drag power and everything. I would recommend going out there and just taking a look at all the specs right there. Uh, Dieter asks, are, are spare spools available for the Viper X and 4,000 cast? Um, we don't have them in terms of like selling them on the website, but one of the cool things about being a small company is we do cater to our customers. So if you want to email that CS at PCFund.com, we'll do everything that we can to try to get you one of those extra spare spools. What well, bait cast a reel does he recommend for 10? I think this is the, the chaos is the only kind of uh, round reel that you have right now, right? Yeah. And that Alios would probably also work very well on a 10 foot rod. Um, it just depends on what style of reel you're looking for. All right. Um, so one last thing uh, before we go, before I let you go. Uh, so tell me about kind of like your goals for 2020. Did y'all meet them? Uh, what's the goals for 2021? Anything we could be looking forward to? Any inside sure. info you can give yeah. us other, <laughs> other than a catfish rod? <laughs> yeah. So uh, so our goals every year, um, you know, besides our number goals that we want to hit, our goals every year basically to expand the lineup because as a new company, um, you know, being around for only, you know, around five to six years now. Um, expand the product lineup, bring more products to the table that people want to see. Um, and then obviously, you know, hit certain sales numbers and marks and then grow our, grow our social media is a big one. Obviously social media is the king of mm -hmm. everything in the world today. So, um, that's a big goal this year. We, even through, you know, the pandemic, we actually did hit all of our goals this year, um, which is, uh, a, a true testament to where this company is going. And uh, next year, you know, the goals, obviously our sales goals are probably going to double because that's our trend right now. So we're going to try to meet that. Um, and we are going to be coming out with several different products in the mm. spring. Um, so the bigger we get, the the more releases there are going to be every year, which is super exciting uh, for me and for you guys. Um, so inside info, what can I give you guys for inside <laughs> info? The juicy, <laughs> this, the juicy this, stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is the stuff that it's like the CEO could maybe get a hold of this video, so I should be careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we do have a couple of new rod lineups coming. Um, they're not, I mean, we are working on the catfish, but we have a spinning reel that's called the Carbon X. Um, it's probably mm -hmm. our most pos or our most um, popular spinning reel. Uh, so we are coming out with a Carbon X lineup of casting and spinning rods. Mm. And they are going to be our our premier top of the line lineup of rods once those drop. So um, you'll definitely want to keep an eye out for those. The price point is going to be absolutely <laughs> insane for the quality that's going to be put into those rods. So um, other than that, I would expect probably a fall release and don't quote me or kill me if it doesn't happen, but I would say <laughs> a, a, a fall. I know fishermen can be ruthless if they don't get what they want. They're they can. <laughs> so I would expect probably a, a early fall release uh, for that catfish series. So, Ooh. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Just in time for that nice awesome. fall bite to heat up and get on those big fish. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Will they be doing any rod and reels for pan, the panfish world? Oh, we have a whole we, we have a whole bunch of panfish reels out there right now. Uh, if you go, go out, to pcfun.com. <laughs> yeah, pcfun.com and check out the the 1000 size in my opinion are the best. Um if you want top of the line, go for the Carbon X 1000 carbon. If you want a little bit lower, uh the Viper X is incredible as well and we also do offer a panfish rod and a 66 ultralight. <laughs> Patience, patience. I, you know what, Mike? I feel your pain, brother, because every time we're coming out with something, I'm chomping at the bit. That's the thing. I'm a fisherman. You know, I'm not yeah. just some media guy. I fish yeah. all the time, so I'm chomping at the bit. Like just every like day are. almost, it seems like. Yeah, I try to. <laughs> uh, let's see. One last question. The Sharky 3 and one bass I unboxed had 39.5 pounds of drag. What is the most comparable you got? Um, I guess I would – so – what type of reel is it? I guess I would need to know what kind of reel. Casting, casting. Well, is it like casting. a casting reel, spinning reel? Um, it has to be reels? a. It has to be a spinning reel with thirty nine and a half pounds of drag. I would that's, think that's true. Yeah, I mean, I would say our closest would would be this this carnivore. Um, again, and all the specs for each model are out there. I would definitely go check it out. Um, yeah, that would probably be the closest model that we would have right now. Here's a here's a good question because these are getting more and more popular. Any conventional non level wine reels being considered? You know, that's, that's interesting you said that because I've had quite a few people who have brought that up to me. 
Um, and yeah, and they are being considered. Absolutely. It's, it's one of those things that we're kind of just getting to the point where enough people are asking about it, where we're going to kind of start looking at that design. Awesome. Well, Jason, I really appreciate your time. I know you're a busy man. Thank you for coming on here. I know they've got 120 people watching right now, and I know that all of them appreciate the information that you've shared. So thank you very much. No problem. Thank you so much for having me, and hopefully we can do it again in the future. All right, man. You take care. Have a good yep. night. Have Happy a good night, everyone. All right, everyone. Uh, thank you for the great questions for Jason. Uh, very informative interview there. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to make this cut off right at 8 PM my time, because I know Patriot James comes on at eight and uh, I don't want to overlap. I want to respect that time. So let's get to it. I have all three models of the PC fund chaos line. Um, <clears throat> I bought the 40 myself. I bought the 50 myself. And then, um, I was lucky enough to be sent the 60 or the 6,000 series um, by PC Fund uh, to test out and do a review on. So this is that review. So I'm going to get started. Uh, let's start with the 40. The 40 is obviously a lot smaller. Okay. It does not have a power handle. However, the handle is so big. I don't, I really don't think it needs it. I really don't think it needs it at all. Um, the gear ratio is five, three to one. Uh, so you have a really nice gear ratio, six plus one ball bearings. Uh, the drag has 18 pounds max drag. The weight is 11 ounces. So it's a lighter reel. Uh, the retrieve ratio is 24.8, uh, per rotation. And then it has, uh, it can hold up to 180 yards of, 14 pound mono uh so yeah that's a that's a paddle power handle yeah thank you um so this one does not have a power handle okay so some interesting things it's an all metal body the sides are made out of aluminum okay the rest of it is uh, well most of it's made out of aluminum so you don't have to worry about too much plastic in the reel itself. It has an anti-slip spool on it. So you see it kind of looks like diamonds in there. And so that it has like a little uh, texture to it. So that texture helps hold that braid on if you're using braid. Uh, got a new webcam trying to figure that out. Um, something interesting uh, about the top of this, you have this little cover here. When I took it off, I took all the line off so you could see everything. It has a, uh, it flips up. It flips up so that you can clean behind this little guard here. Or you can just take it off if you don't like it. Like if you want to see down in the spool and it, it snaps back on. So if y'all heard that snap. Um, an inch, a really interesting thing that I love about these reels is that you can hear the drag loosening and tightening. And all three models do this. I hope you guys can hear that. So whenever you move that star drag, it clicks. And that to me is peace of mind that I'm doing something. Uh, it's got a carbon fiber drag. It does have a level wind on it. Let you see the worm gear up in there. Sorry about the focus, guys. Um, it only has two pins on the bottom, and I know a lot of people say, I want four pins on mine. Um, but really, this two pin, I mean, I haven't had any problem with it. Uh, let's see. It's got a clicker. Not too bad, not too bad. Not as loud as others. Uh, the 4000 does have an S thumb bar on it. I love that. I love those thumb bars. Makes casting easier, especially if you're a beginner at bait casters. <clears throat> um, it's a beautiful blue color. The uh, line tensioner on the side right here. It's very smooth too. It doesn't click, but it's very smooth. 
Uh, I just had some water fell out because I just cleaned it. Let's see. What else can I say about it? I will say that this is the first one I ever tried out. I bought the wrong one. Dieter was using the 50, and I didn't know anything about casting reels when I bought it, and I bought the 40. So I obviously wanted more line capacity. So for dragging baits, the 40 is probably not what you want. But for anchor fishing or bank fishing um, or suspend fishing, perfect. Nothing wrong with this. It's super smooth. Very smooth. It's, I compare it to a Cadillac. So I own various different reels. Um, and all the reels at this price point aren't as smooth as this. I'm going to go ahead and say that. The 40 would be good for channel catch. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, you're speaking a foreign language to me. Um, yeah, it could be used. So this is, this is a similar size to an Abu Garcia 5000 series or 5,500. So if you want something to compare the size to, except it has a power paddle handle. So the handle is nice and big. Man, I'm getting water everywhere. Let me grab a rag. I don't need anything. I don't need anything shortened out on me tonight. <laughs> All right, we'll dry that up. All right, so that's the 40. Anyone have questions about the 40? Let's see, once I get the knot tied, I love it except for the bait clicker failing. Are you talking about this reel? Yes, Jesus is king, Skibo Carter. I believe that as well. <laughs> Betty talking about going for crappy. <laughs> um, if it loosens, it loosens off very quickly. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do that. You're bad. The 50. Okay, no problem. Yes, you can see the 40 versus 50. And I'm going to bring it bring it up right now. So here's the 50. And I'm going to kind of move this mic over a little bit. All right, so here's the side view. This is the first time I've done a, a, a live review, so I have to kind of uh, get used to it. So the sides are about the same. Everything looks like it's in the same spot. <clears throat> Here's the other side. The difference is the 50 comes with a power handle. And I'm usually not one for a power handle, right? I, I never really cared for them. But why I love this one is this has a, a good weight on the side, which makes the power handle very comfortable. Makes it very comfortable. Let's see. What's the oh no? What's the biggest fish you've caught on the 40 and the 50? Oh, good lord. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, I've caught 22 fish in the past two days, so I can't remember which reels they came on, to be honest with you. But I know some of them did come on the 50. Yeah, the paddle handle, let's see. Now, they're about the same size. <laughs> I'm having to manage with the camera. Okay, here's the front. The 50. And the 40. So everything's pretty much the same except it has a lot more line capacity and the power handle is bigger. All right. Uh, let's see. The 50, here's the stats on the 50 or the 5,000. See if you can see that. I think if I take my hand out of it. And you get the ring light and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> All right, let's go the 531 five, gear ratio, six plus one ball bearings. Uh, this one has 20 pounds of max drag, so a little bit, two pounds more of drag. Uh, the reel is a little bit heavier. It's a, almost an, it's a little over an ounce heavier, 12.3 ounces. The retrieve rate is the same. The retrieve rate is the same on all three, 24.8 
per rotation. Um, this one holds 250, 250 yards of 15 pound mono. Um, again, I know that doesn't translate. Most of us are using, uh, hey, dad, most of us are using between, yeah, 24, 22. Yeah, I had a good couple days fishing. Um, most of us are using 30 to, to 40 pound line. So uh, I can tell you that the 50, it's plenty has plenty enough line capacity to do dragging. It has plenty enough capacity to put out a lot of line while you're dragging. I've used that. So uh, everything's everything's pretty much the same. The the weight on on this power handle makes it really really sweet. Now here, I know you're all saying, Kevin, you're just you know, you're just saying all positive things. Well, that's because there are a lot of a lot of positive things. I really haven't found anything I don't like about this reel. And today or yesterday while I was fishing, I almost I thought I almost had something bad. And maybe it's a little concerning. We'll find out. But um, as I was reeling in a fish, uh, I, I hold the reel in my hand, right? So I can have my thumb close to the spool. So I'm reeling it in, and the body's twisting on me, and I'm like, "What's going on? Is that the real seat in the uh, in the on the rod, or is that the reel?" Uh, so I discovered that these screws right here, these screws were backing out, and so I just tightened them up on the boat, and then. Um, you know, I'm planning on after the stream taking the screwdriver and tightening up pretty good, and, and just to see. Uh, can somebody please get Cat Buster out of here? I don't need that kind of negativity in my show. Here, I'll do it. All right. Um, so, Jason, I told Jason about it before the stream, and uh, he said that. Uh, to let him know if the screws keep backing out after I after I tighten it up, um, and if it does, then he'll, you know, take care of it. He'll mention it to production, and they'll talk about what they can do to improve. So, if the screws do end up backing out again, then he's going to take care of it, and they're going to improve on the product, which I think is awesome. So there's that one smooth again. It's really quiet. Really quiet. Here's the 40. Very quiet. I do have other reels in this price point. When I've when I've cast them out, they're already whining. <laughs> so they're about the same age. I'm trying to get the water out if there's water in there. All right, here's the 60. Here's the one everybody's been looking for. Um, oh, I forgot to do the clicker. I'm sorry. The clicker is pretty much the same. Some people are saying they're having a, um, you know, problems with clickers. And Jason said to email that uh, cs at pcfun.com, and they'll take care of it. So now this one is different. It's it's definitely bigger. Here's the um, comparison. Shoot, <laughs> sorry guys. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let me see if I can get them twisted the right way here. All right. Now, the 60, you'll notice, guess what? It has four pins in the bottom. So those of you who wanted the pins, the four pins, then uh, the 60 has what you're looking for. Okay. The other thing, here's the top. It's definitely wider. Definitely a lot wider. And you also notice that the 50 has the guard and the thumb bar. The 60 does not have the guard, nor does it have the thumb bar. Okay, and so I asked uh, I asked Jason about this before the stream. And he says that normally when people are using these bigger reels like this, they're casting bigger baits. They're casting uh, bigger leads. They're catching bigger fish. 
and those S bars tend to wear out more. And so that's why they decided when they when they designed the 60 not to put the S bar on there. And so you do have the uh, the push button like a lot of other reels. Okay. And I'm I mean at first I was kind of I was kind of like, "Oh man, I really wanted the thumb bar on all three of them." Uh, and I quickly got over it because uh, somebody sent me a Abu Garcia uh, catfish special, which you know I, I would never have you know bought one of those. They're just too pricey for me. But uh, it also has the push button on it. So I guess the men should move up to other stuff. So the sixty. Uh, let's see. 5-3-1 gear ratio, just like the others. 6 plus 1 ball bearings, 22 pounds of drag. So the drag went up another 2 pounds from the 50. Um, interestingly enough, the weight doesn't increase that much, only by 5 ounces. So it's 12.7 or 4 ounces, 12.7 ounces. The retrieve rate is the same, like I said, 24.8. <clears throat> and then it can hold... 305 yards of 15 pound mono. Uh, it doesn't, I don't have the specs for 20 pound mono. So uh, if you can get your relative capacity from the 15 pound mono, then you can work that out. Definitely holds a ton of line, a ton of line. This is probably uh, my favorite of the three because it feels more like a catfishing reel. Although the 5,000 is great. I don't have a problem with the 5,000, but this just feels robust. It feels, feels like a reel. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else to say. <laughs> All right. Everybody keeps asking me. I know. I know you want to know how much. Give me a minute. We'll get there. <laughs> First, I'm going to go back and look at these comments. <laughs> uh, I guess men should move up to other stuff. I'm not sure what we're talking about there. I'm interested though. That's why I read it. Um, let's see. Line capacity, thumb bar. Thumb bars cause me big problems. Okay. You can fit a complete 150 yard spool of 60 pound braid in them. There you go. 7,000 has the lever. Okay. You're talking about the abus. Push button is more reliable. Said fish and foul. Let's see. Push button. Many reels of push button. How much are they? Okay. All right. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Let's go to PC Fun.com. Okay. I'm going to share the screen with you and I'm going to show you where you can find all this lovely information here. Okay. Let me take my ugly mug off of here so you can see the full screen. No, here we go. All right. So the chaos full metal body. I've already mentioned that you're going to go to fishing reels. And you're going to go to casting. All right, your 4,000 right-handed model is $52.99, $52.99. The 5,000 is $55.99, and the 6,000 is $58.99, okay? They do come in left-handed, and you stay to the end of the show, you will be able to you might be able to win one of these uh, left-handed reels. Oh, did I say that? Giveaway? Oh, yes. We're doing a giveaway today, folks. All right. So $52.99. They have all the pictures. They have the specs. These are also available on Amazon. You can pay with PayPal, too, if you like PayPal. All right. There you go. All right, what questions did I miss? 
People talking about fishing. Yeah, so and that's that's the thing that um Jason was talking about. He was talking about uh hey Mr. James, happy birthday. He was talking about uh when he started working for the company, he said that uh you know he did he wasn't gonna put his name on junk, right? And so when he toured the factories in China, he noticed that the machines were German machines. Uh they weren't that you know, so German, I mean German screams quality, right? I mean, you look at German cars, the Volvos, the BMWs, um, you know, you you know that they make quality items. So he felt more comfortable with that situation. He said, There you go. <laughs> Win a lefty and six hundred dollar stimulus. What a day. <laughs> I like Aubrey. <laughs> um so I asked him, I said, how, how did you guys get this, um, get this, this reel so smooth? He said, well, the low gear ratio with high quality, high quality, uh, parts. And so all the parts are high quality. They're not making junk, um, which makes, which makes the reels very durable and very smooth. So, um, you know, although my review hasn't been also eloquent, because uh, I've never done a live review, and they will get better. They will get better. But uh, I'm here to tell you that um, these reels will will be on my rods from now on. I'm not giving any of them away. I like all three of them, even the 40. Even the 40, which doesn't really have that much line capacity, I'll use it for, for anchor fishing, or I'll put it on a smaller rod, maybe a shorter rod. I, I love all three of them. <clears throat> I like how smooth they are. They look good. Um, they've lasted for a while. Now I haven't had the 60 as long, uh, and I hadn't had the 50 as long as the 40, but the 40 I've had since May. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's been a beautiful reel. It's really smooth. Uh, the drag is awesome on it. I think somebody was asking, what's the biggest fish I've caught? I caught a 24 pound flathead on the 40. I don't know if that gives you any kind of relativity uh, for what, what your question was, but I caught a 24-pound uh, flathead on the 40. Uh, I've caught you know, several 20-pound blues on the others. I just don't know which, which one, the 50 or the 60. Uh, if you want to go back, I had two live streams yesterday and, and Monday. If you want to go look at those live streams and see which reel I was using to catch the fish, you can. Uh, old big red, <laughs> the old big red Abu that I was using, uh, caught the biggest fish the past two days. But, uh, you know, I hope this is content that you can use. Uh, it was really awesome for Jason to come in here and, um, you know, take time out of his busy schedule to come in here and not shy away. So that should tell you another thing too, when the marketing director for us sales will come into a live stream, uh, where he could be asked anything. Um, and the only thing I didn't ask, ask him that you guys asked was specific to like a person questions, like the drag on my reel. Um, but he gave an email so you can reach him and get that situation taken care of, which I think answers the question really. Um, that's it. I can't take it. I'm heading to the lake, <laughs> but, uh, they're they're great. Um, no, I didn't name you old bigger. <laughs> Although Chad, I did see two fellows that were duck hunting today that looked like they could be your twins, man. Or yesterday, not today. Uh, cool. All right. Well, let's uh, let's see. What does this one say? Where are they made? They're made in China. So it's an American company, but just like most fishing gear these days, they're made in China. Uh, with German manufacturing, if that answers your question. Big Mike, man, thanks. Another 10 bucks. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Uh, I got my first medals packed up today. I talked to Catfish Clothing uh, today and sent him all the, uh, the winter sizes and everything. So I'll be sending that stuff out shortly. Thank you for those who donated for that. Let's see. I got six minutes left. Let's see. Just getting your bait casters. Any more questions? Yeah, most gear comes from China nowadays. 
If you want to see more about PC Fun stuff, Josh from Carp and Catfish Bait Tips and Tricks and Techniques uses a lot of PC Fun stuff. Um, spinning prices. You just have to go to the website, Paul. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll put it up there since I got a, a few minutes. And uh, I was going to give out this code, but it looks like they already have an 18% off code on here um, for anything. Okay, so this code... The new 18 is 18% 18 off anything over 79. But the code I'm going to give you, if somebody will type in the chat, CAT18, CAT18, I believe is the code. Marillo knows it. If I'm wrong, Marillo, type in that code. Uh, that will get you 18% off of anything on your order. Anything. One reel. And it will take 18% off your order. Uh, so if you want to go over to PC Fun tonight, or you have until, I think he said, December next year. December of next year, y'all. They gave me a code for my viewers to go use on the website. On the website only. It doesn't work on Amazon. Um, if you use CAT18, you will get uh 18% off. All right. Dad wanted to know the casting real prices. Nope, he wanted to know spinning real prices. That's what he wanted. Let's see. The carnivore is what he recommended. There it is, the carnivore. 52.99. Looks like it starts. Let's see if you went to the 5000 59.99. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. The six thousand is sixty four ninety nine. It goes down to a three fifty two ninety nine. Um, I would recommend the Carnivore over the Viper X, the one I just reviewed, because the Viper X five thousand is small for for big catfishing. Um, but it is it is around the same price point fifty four ninety nine. But it's smaller than what I would I would use for catfishing. So there you go. Cat 18 will get you 18% off of any order. Palmetto Cats and Peace Fun going to make 2021 better than 2020. It's not going to be hard. <laughs> Can I do Cat 100? Hey, try it, man. Try it. Let's see. <laughs> All right. So, Quarantine Blues. Quarantine Blues. I have not tried their rod. Um, Quarantine Blues, Mr. Ian Wall is going to give away a Chaos 5000 left-handed tonight on the show. Is that right, Ian? It's a, I know it's a left-handed. Is, is it a 50? Yes, sir. All right, I think it's a 50. So here we go. Let's do one through 500 starting now, and you cannot. you can only pick one number. And you can't go over. One through 500, starting now. Ian, text me the number you want. Ian's got my number. He's going to text me the number, the winning number. Look at that. Chunky Cats was hanging back until the giveaway. <laughs> What's up, Elston Perez? <clears throat> thank you again for everyone to come in. Thank you for uh, the donations. Those of you who are able to donate, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but the video quality is better. The sound is better, but the sound is thanks to my beautiful wife. Uh, my wife got me this microphone for Christmas, and it's awesome. She also got me this awesome artwork for Christmas. Um, but if you like the video footage, it's because I was able, because of your donations, to get a new webcam. So it's crisp and clear, and uh, it has focus on it. Isn't that awesome? It focuses in and out. That might sound good. All right. <laughs> so eventually, I'll be able to get some um, depth of field. I don't ruin the focus on it now. Focus, camera, focus. 
I'm sitting here playing with it and I ruined the focus. There we go. So thank you. I play. I just don't want to win. <laughs> uh, and to Isaac, I ordered your Muddy River bobbers yesterday when I got home. So when I, once I get those, Isaac won a Muddy River bobbers yesterday on my live stream. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Somebody type stop. We got to hurry because Patriot Catfishers of America is going live. All right. There we go. We stopped ship this morning. All right. Cool. That's right. My wife is awesome. All right. Here we go now. We're going to get this number up here. We're going to give away this reel. The number is 42. So if I could have a mod, find out who came closest to 42 without going over. If you did 43 or up, you are out. And while they're looking at that, I'm going to pray for us. Heavenly Father, thank you again for another awesome stream. Thank you for Jason Brennick from Pissy Fun. Thank you uh, for allowing him to come in here. Thank you for the stream where I'm able to share my love for catfishing, my love for you. Uh, thank you for all of the people that came in here. Lord, we had about 120 in here. That's awesome. Thank you for bringing them in. Thank you for this platform. Thank you for all you do for us. I am nothing without you, and I give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Who won? Who won? Who won? Did Chris? 42 was the number. 42. Katmandu had 18. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. <laughs> Happy New Year, everybody. As soon as I get Katmandu at 18. <laughs> all right i'm gonna i'm gonna end the show if, if cat man do anybody else can confirm all right cat man do again all right cat man do you are going to um send me an email Oh, there you go. Never mind. You're going to send Ian an email, ian.wall at topgolf.com, and he's going to send you a brand new left-handed PC Fun Chaos 50 in the mail. Thanks a lot to Ian for doing that. That's awesome. What a great, what a great gift, and what a great gift to the channel. I thank you for doing that, Ian. You didn't. He called me yesterday and said he wanted to do that. Thank you so much for that. Thank you to all the awesome people in here. I thoroughly enjoyed the show. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up before you leave, please. Please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you like what you're seeing. We're going to do this kind of stuff all the time. If you want to know what kind of camera I'm running, I don't know right off the top of my head, but if you'll email me, I'm pretty quick to respond. Palmettacats at gmail.com. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for coming in and just visiting with us. Um, there's going to be more like this. Make sure the bell is hit. The one with the shaky bell, the shaky bell, uh, all notifications. All right, y'all hit that like button until next time. Happy fishing. I'm out. Go watch Patreon.